This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 184 for Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Here we are, Tuesday, after the Long Island show. I know. It's nice to be home. The it's day really you've been waiting for. Being home? <laughs> it's almost spring. That's exciting. It is. Nice. We get some rain, melt some snow. Yeah. Although it's, I don't think it's spring until that one lot on the way home is completely void of snow. Uh, actually, it's not spring until my mom's birthday next week. Oh, well, okay. So everybody in the chat and everybody who listens to this later... <laughs> Everybody say happy birthday to my mom, uh, happy anniversary to my parents for yesterday, and my mom's birthday is next week. Is it before, is it before the podcast? I can't remember. It's, it's on the calendar. It's on the calendar, yeah. It's on the calendar. Right. Yeah, so I think it's 30, <laughs> mom, tell me if I'm right, it's 36 years. They were married in 1980. That's impossible. She's going to be 29 <laughs> next week. I know. How can she be married 36? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was 1980, um, and, and Mom and Bob, my poor parents, um, it was the one day that, I think it was a Friday, and it was the one day we had this big snowstorm, and all five of us kids were stuck home from school. I don't know how they got anything done that day. So your new siblings. Yes. And your and my brother, yeah. And your brother, and you're stuck. To, you're stuck together. That, stuck that's got to be all in the same house with nowhere to go, nothing to do. And you know, mom and Bob are trying to get everything, you know, finalized for the wedding and and miracle. People are coming in. You know, it was it was crazy. But now the big the big question, of course, is what pen did they use to sign the documents with? I'm. Sure, it was some bit that the minister. <laughs> we're, uh, we're 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 waiting for uh, to hear from the audience on this one. So, um, Doris, <laughs> chime in. I don't even know in. if Mom yep. She's in the chat. So, she, she'll make something up. I'm sure. So. The, the funny thing is, or or it's, I guess it's not funny to them. I always missed their anniversary. Always. Well, you know. Uh, partly because it just kind of creeps up, and there it is, and and yeah. Anyway, and, and partly for a second, maybe okay reason. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, so happy anniversary, mom and Bob. I hope you guys had a great day. And then next week is mom's birthday, and then the week after is Bob's birthday. So the second half of March is just like it's, one big party. It's a big party. It's a big yeah. party, and, and, and they, they're suffering right now in ninety-one degrees. Um, so shut up. So just just so we make this clear, there's a fifty degree temperature difference. <laughs> um, between Appleton um, <laughs> and Florida, send um, some of this way. But uh, I, I think we've been we've been fortunate. The weather's been uh, decent. Yeah, and we were pretty good. Um, you know, I mean, we, we we could have had worse weather. Now this is the third. <laughs> <That's your laughs> this is the this is the third trip, uh, third pen show we've gone to this year, and each show we have had issues at one point or another with weather. Uh, I am hoping that the next trip will be void of any weather related issues, although this time around it was simply... It was, it was just rain. Just rain, and, and thankfully I had just gotten new wiper blades for the, for the new car yeah. the day before we left, or the, yeah, the, the, the day we left, actually I think it was. Yeah, and, and the rain wasn't anything major. It wasn't like a big torrential storm. It was, no, it was but we, were, we were trying to hit it, you know, we planned the trip so that we can hit certain spots at certain times and um, uh, we traveled with the rain. So, um, <laughs> we just stayed right in the middle of the storm the whole time. Had, had, we, had we actually stopped to sleep, because we were well ahead of schedule, um, oh, we, were, we, would have, yeah. we would have missed the rain, but then we would have hit the George Washington Bridge. Um, at rush hour? Well, at any hour other than four in the morning. Uh, which, I'm not even there. You know, um, and of course, as it was, we chose... When you go over the GWB, you got for those who are familiar, you've got two different routes. You can take the upper route, which is quite scenic, and the lower route, which is a little more claustrophobic. So, as tourists are, 
uh, we take the upper route, and then of course half of it is closed for I don't know why it was just closed. two out of the four lanes on the um, upper level were closed, and uh, so we didn't really <laughs> get across any fast. You know, and so here we are. It's four o'clock in the morning, and we're thinking we're going to breeze by the GWB, and yeah, we are awesome. stuck. <laughs> it was just as bad, just as stop and go as. Um, as it was at you know noon other day other trips so yeah um, so you but, know it's but we made it with good time and um, the hotel let us in pretty early and we actually slept for several hours yeah, we slept. well see originally the plan we we're gonna come into town we're gonna get um, we're gonna get some sleep um, we're gonna set up early on Friday and none of what we actually wanted and planned to do actually happened yeah. Um, so since we got in early, we went to sleep. Uh, we called our our, our friend uh, in uh, in rep at Kenro Deneen, and we actually made our way over to Kenro in the afternoon, um, and we got to hang out with them. Now that's sort of a kind of an annual sort of annual tradition that just happens to, to work out. Um, yeah, it's a good time. I wouldn't say we got ourselves in trouble there, but uh, uh, we we had a plan. <laughs> We had a plan that fell apart not, not three minutes into walking in the door. Our, so. our plan was that we were not going to buy anything um, from Kenro. We, you know, gotten some some Omas, and we'll talk about Omas in a minute. Yeah. But, um, but you know, and, we'd, we'd recently bought some things, and they know every year they bring out these big boxes, and yeah, every so year. For, for, for those that aren't, aren't familiar, Kenro is, I mean, some, most people know, but Kenro is distribu U.S. distributor for, for Omas, uh, Montegrappa, Aurora, and then uh, well, U-Boat, which we don't carry, uh, and Delby, another uh, men's luxury wash brand. But anyway, just wanted to, wanted to specify yeah. that. Um, so, go. So, we, we bought some things. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we literally were standing outside the door. We got to be buzzing. We're like, okay, we are not buying anything. Yeah, we we, we, we made this shook. pact. We should have shook. And yeah. and uh, we, we get in there, and the first thing they do is we see Denine walking, and she's got this huge box. I'm like, oh, oh god. Um, we didn't buy everything they brought out. We get big points for that. Yeah, we didn't. We, well, I, I I gotta admit, we bought things that I didn't expect. I, I didn't expect them to bring out. So, you know. <laughs> um, and it was one thing after another, and, and, and they do it. I, I swear, it's like a good cop, bad cop kind of thing. Yeah, it's a tag team. It is, yeah. But so, except, like, you know, but then they've started to say, okay, now I'm going to bring Joel, uh, you know, Ryan in, and, and now Deneen's going to come back in. So, it's, seriously, it's hilarious. We ought to videotape it sometime. We ought to set up a camera <laughs> in the corner of the room and then watch us just crumble because, <laughs> okay. because Deneen's got this box and we chat, you know, the weather, the trip, how was the trip, how's business, da, 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 da. and then and then the box starts getting unloaded on the table. And then Joel comes in, Joel Lumber. Um, and he's got his hands full. He's got two, <laughs> is it two or three rows? I mean, just, I don't know how he brought it in without dropping it. Three Brings it down, three sits on the table. Um, all Monster Grappa. Yeah. This is not going to happen. We are not going to, we are not going to stock Monster Grappa. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. lasted about 45 seconds. Yeah. And and then they bring out the binder with the Omas. And yeah, and then you know the Omas comes out, and uh, that was you know, I mean, that, did, that didn't go well. <laughs> I kind of, yeah, that, that didn't go well at all. If it had a nib, we bought yes. it. So um, I think they had what did they have? Like one fountain pen left in the case. Yeah. Um, and, and ironically, I don't know if you if you if you realize this, the one fountain pen that they had in the case. Do you remember which one it was? No. Um, I, I would have to go back to tell you exactly which one it is, but I, it's so – Omos is this company that they make extremely beautiful pens. And then they have the other side, which is these limited editions that are – how would you politely say? Over the top. Gaudy. They're gaudy. They're, they don't look – I mean, it, it's hard to believe that a company that makes such a, a, a classically – classical looking pen can make something that just I, I mean I don't know I, it, it's crazy so anyway so the only pen we didn't buy it turns out 
if, if you didn't realize this, was the same pen that we saw the very first time we showed up at Kenro four years ago, and it was at that time it was a prototype. Do you remember that? No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. It was like the it was like the Madrid or something. It's got this weird know. pattern on it. We didn't buy it. Move on. Yeah, we didn't buy it. It was the only. It was the only. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting, right? Um, uh, and I just got attacked by a ladybug or whatever this nope. is here. Don't be scared. I well, it just <laughs> anyway. I just thought it was interesting. The first time we go, and the, the, this time the same pen is still there. So I guess it's a good thing we didn't buy it. Because, but it was the only one that had a nib that we didn't buy. So well, now the the um, let's go ahead and jump into Omas. Uh, there will be a few more pens. Yes, um, we are getting a few more pens, and possibly a little more ink. Yeah, not don't. Don't hold out for nope. you know Arcoma Lords or anything like that. Um, we've got a couple that are coming up on the website um, soon, soon. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, and and you know it's really uh, cool to see you know some of the old stuff. Um, we, we picked up a couple of the um, pens that they'd had as samplers or testers, and some of this stuff is um, a little older. Uh, and it's, it's cool to, to see what they made, and it's, it's really sad that, um, that they're gone. Uh, and, you know, whatever's left that they find under desks. I mean, Deneen found some Schaefer's, and, and they've had, you know, they haven't had Schaefer for a, a long time now. And so, I, I can't imagine finding a box of pens under a desk or you know in a corner or something. So I'm, I'm not. I'm just not going to say anything about that. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean. I mean. I, I think they found pens. The the ones that we saw on Sunday that we bought. Yeah. They didn't have on Saturday, so I don't know where they pulled those from. I, I would have thought that those would have come out. Well, maybe they found another binder. I mean, you know, each of them uh, go to different shows, and so they may have a couple different binders of stuff, and maybe they, they found one more binder of, of samples and testers and put it all together. So, yeah. Well, I'm go. just, just going to throw this out there as kind of a teaser, and, um, and then we'll move on. Um, for those of you familiar with Omas, Omas 360 Lamborghini. And we're just going to move on that. Um, uh, let's talk about the show. <laughs> um, we were hoping that we'd be able to set up Friday night, but that didn't pan out. Um, so we ended up uh, going to dinner and then going to um, this cool little paper shop. And I bought Ooh, uh, right. two pieces of, of paper, which doesn't sound exciting except... One is like poster size um, that has different colored um, drawings of bicycles on it for Brian, and I'm going to frame that for his office. And then this gorgeous aqua blue and gold metallic, um, it's very Japanese, uh, kind of a wave scene. It's almost a hokusai kind of thing. It's, it's cool um, uh, that I'm going to frame for my office. And so that was fun. And then... Um, that was a store that was right next to a Trader Joe's, so I got to go and stock up on um, my coconut oil, which I love. And we got lunches and breakfast for the next couple days, and that was great. Then we went back and passed out. Yeah. So always fun to go to a Trader Joe's. I haven't been since last, I say so, the second time I've ever been. But hopefully they'll have one uh, our way at some point. But uh so, of course, that means we get to go and we get to sleep, but then that means... Um, get up early the next morning. Yeah, Saturday morning we got to get up early, and, of course, we're talking with um, uh, the organizer, and he says, well, I'll be at the, I'll be at the, the show at 6 o'clock. And we're like, we're not going at 6 o'clock. So. <laughs> not that early. I think we made it a little after 7. Is yeah, I took right? a wrong turn, and then we ended up getting gas. Yeah, we took, we took a wrong <laughs> turn, but that, that worked out. Um, yep. 
and it's at Hofstra University, and there's no real great way to park next to the door, so that, this, that's why we bought our cart, and which, which has worked out. Um, yep. You know, four trips later, which is normal, we got, we got our stuff in. Um, set up, I, I thought that we set up pretty quickly. I was, uh, yeah, I, I think so. It worked out pretty good. Uh, uh, the, the room didn't open to the public till 10, so we had three hours to get get everything moving. And uh, once we get the grid up, you know, the, the pens just, they just lay out and uh, everything is pretty, pretty much. Well, now we, much. we are blessed at the show to be, I'm gonna have to go perfectly located. The ink tester table is in front of us. The table without the cookies and pastry is in front of us. And at the end of our table, we kind of T-bone into the coffee table. So I'm telling you, it's the best spot in the room. The yep. table with coffee on it. It's awesome. And a garbage can. And a big garbage can, yeah. Yep. So everything we need is right there. Um, so Saturday at the show, uh, I think they were saying that was the best attendance I had heard. For uh, 500 attendees, I think was the number I heard for Saturday. It seemed pretty busy. I, yeah, I don't was, recall any you know lulls, any real lulls. Um, we no, were steady, and uh, the attendance was steady. Um, I had a couple opportunities early on Saturday to make trades, um, some interesting stuff, but I, I declined. Uh, one was an Orange Pilot Custom 92. Um, the piston filler, which is not exported to the United States, is Japanese domestic Japanese only pen. Um, passed on that one, but then the one that I really had to show restraint over. Um, good client of ours uh, was looking at a pen and he wanted to trade, uh, and he took us. He opened his pen case up, and I think most people would be blessed to see one of these pens um, in person in their life and he had not one but two two waterman number seven red ripple and pink nice. the pink he had two of them he said well you could take your pick um i don't know where he got them but they still had his price tags on them from when he purchased them the little the little cardboard tags with the strings that some people use mm -hmm. Uh, one of them was like a thousand dollars, and the other one was twelve hundred. And he pulled them out, and I'm, I'm just shaking because I'm like, Don't there was touch a, well, there was a thread happened to be just two days earlier on, on the uh, FPN Facebook page about a Waterman Pink Seven Pink that was on uh, eBay, and so here they are. Uh, now I know you used to have, you had a pink at one point. You had almost the whole set, right? I did. You did. Yeah, sorry to bring that up. Um, but uh, except for the black and white, right? Those are the two that almost nobody has. Um, and here it was. And I, I was looking at it. Was, I was going to talk to you about it. And I, I was thinking, you're just going to tell me to do whatever. Um, and... No, I'm not. I'm going to tell you no. <laughs> no. Um, you know, it, it, it would have been a relatively easy flip, but uh, I declined the offer. I did not come home with either of the Waterman 7 Pinks, so. Which is um, why we're still happily married. Which is why we're still happily married, absolutely. Um, cool though, I mean, it's, it's you know, sometimes it's, you know, you just never know what's gonna come to your table. And I mean, we've been collecting for 18 years each, and uh, you, you've had one, I'm sure, I don't know if you've had any more than one, but I've never what, actually. Pink? I've had yeah. several. You've had several? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna shake your hand. Um, well, you know, I, Buy it, and then you upgrade, and you sell the yeah. first one. And I've never—I don't think I've ever had more than two at a time. But I mean, when I was collecting these, <laughs> this no, when I collected these, you know, you could get them for two hundred dollars. Okay, well, that's, so that's something. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Now, nowadays, 15, they're, they're, sixteen years ago. Yeah, they're eight, they're eight hundred, a thousand dollars, twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. You know, depending on the condition. I mean. Um, Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, I pass on those. Uh, one of the, the cool things. Thing was the, I thought the cooler thing was the desk set with your name on it. I, I know. I, I was so close, right? So we go over and uh, it was on Mike Bloom's table. 
And he's got a desk base. I don't know, it was a really nice, didn't you think it was a nice marble base too? Um, it, it was fine. But I don't get gaga like you do about desk sets. So well, yeah, it was, no, it was I, fine. I'm just thinking of, I'm thinking of something for, for the office. Um, it had a nice Because you don't have on. enough behind you. Well, I don't have anything. Oh, no, 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 no. For the office at work, not here, not here. This is clean. Look at this. There's a you know, picture no, no, of the kids. No, no, no. Behind you, know, you in your cabinets, you have all sorts of desk sets. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So you those, don't those need anything. Um, nice, I would say it was probably a, a foot long marble, nice uh, light marble base, uh, a nice uh, mechanical clock. And then um, kind of the, the killer was the fact that it had these these really skinny trumpets and you know they were they were meant for those brushed gold ball points that you used to see like in the 70s and 80s um, and then on the the gold engraved plaque was Brian K Anderson so I mean it was really close really really close K is not my middle initial uh, it's P but um, it, you know had it had like regular trumpets I may have I may have bought it we could change a K to a P somehow, right? Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe not. You know, I anyway. don't know. So anyway, I just thought that was—I've never actually. It would be interesting to see if anybody's actually found their name on a pen um, at a show or anything like that. But it was—it was kind of fun to see. I mean, that—that that was really, really close. Had it said P or it said just said Brian Anderson, I may have had to have bought it. But uh, so. Yeah. Um, I, FPH was there in the usual spot and they had parts bags. Now, nothing was like the parts bags they had a couple of years ago. Um, those were insane. Every bag was just like, I remember picking up every bag a couple of years ago thinking I could take this bag and this bag and this bag and this bag. And you did. Well, I, you know, okay. She and Carol um, had to bring you a box in DC. That was, that was DC, the good stuff. Even the better stuff was in Long Island two years ago. Um, you know, and now it's like I'm seeing some of the same bags that have been around for a couple of years, and they're just throwing in one good pen just to try to get rid of. So the one bag I stupidly passed on, and, and this was – I saw it on our second trip in. So we go in. We, we're loading. We're trying to get, get organized. And I see this bag, and it's, you know, and it's – it's chock full. It's a sandwich bag. It's probably got 30 pounds in it. All wherever's, Stratford's, Ooh. Avon's, you know, all the really good stuff, right? And then at the top of the bag is a modeled hard rubber thumb filler. And I take it out. There's nothing wrong with the pen. Uh, it's got a warranted 14 karat nib. Um, there's no, you know, there's no problems. There's no cracks. There's no nothing. I mean, the pen's perfect. The bag's 50 bucks, and I just can't, for whatever reason, I can't pull the trigger because of the other 29 crappy, crappy pens in the bag. I mean, there wasn't another one that you could salvage for any amount of money. Well, I went back. So it was a good thing. Well, I guess, I guess. I went back later. And thinking that if it was still there, I was going to buy it. And, of course, it wasn't. Of course, I had told three Ooh. people that it existed, and I'm sure somebody found it. But um, we have so many pens, I just can't, I can't see buying You can't pens get right to now. the ones we have. You don't I need any more. I know. But it was cool. That's by far the coolest, coolest, pen, coolest pen I've seen, vintage pen I've seen, uh, no name in a while. That was neat. So. Yeah. What else do we see? I mean, you know, I, I didn't, other than that, I didn't get much time to walk around. Uh, you know, I didn't see anything. I when, I went over to Kenro and I came back and I got coffee and came back. That was it. You know, I think it's what, what people don't understand is when you're a vendor, you don't you don't get to walk around, and, and people are always asking, "Well, who's got who's got what?" You know, they ask you if you have something, and you say, I, "I'm sorry, I don't have it." Well, who might have it? I have no idea. I haven't been around. What you end up doing is you end up looking at the people's tables behind you. By turning around, <laughs> that's how you shop. You shop the the tables behind you, and of course, behind us is Paul Arano. Uh, he's got beautiful find, pens. He does, and he's got he's got a pen I've looked at before, and I was going to think about buying it at another show, but then I couldn't find it. Well, sure enough, I saw it on his table. Um, and I'm not going to say what it is because I'm going to buy it eventually. 
yeah. um, I saw it on his table at the show. So it was, uh, he's got some nice stuff. He did some buying. He's got watches. He's got cufflinks, you know. So, but that's how we shop. We turn around and <laughs> yeah. you know, we chat okay, with the people behind, behind us. us. And, yeah. So, hey, can I take a look at that? That's how we, that's how we shop. So, um, so Saturday went till what? Six o'clock. I don't even know. Six or five. Actually, I think it was five o'clock. I, I don't know why I was thinking it was six all the time, but it, it was five o'clock. Um, we could not get together with our sailor rep, so, um, which we had planned. Um, but uh, that's okay. We had, uh, we had our dinner. Annual with, dinner. Our annual dinner. It turns out to be our annual dinner now. Was it three years in a row now, I think? Yep. Um, uh, Bill and Jenny and uh, made it over. Last year we had dinner, and here's the food part, right? Um, there was a hockey game in town, so it was impossible. It was impossible to hear each other at the table this year. Nothing. So, um, have sure a beverage. It was way better. It was, way better. It was way better. Oh, <laughs> it was way better. <laughs> That's a private joke that only Jenny and Bill um, And we're not going to talk about it on this PG no, rated. It okay. was. It was. Good to see Bill and Jenny, and Jenny's mentioned to people in the chat, you know, that um, Bill had gone through a bit of a, a rough patch with his leg. He fell and hurt himself and had this, this meatball-sized um, lump, and, and it was good to see Bill up and around and, and see for ourselves that uh, he was doing well. And they, um, yeah, it was, it was good to just hang out as two couples and, and talk about work and and not pens as much. It was good. It's kind yeah, of nice. Yeah, not much. Not much. Yeah, I mean yeah. a little bit injected in there, but uh, you know that works out. Um, so we chatted, yeah, for quite a few hours, and then we look at our watch, and it's well, actually, yeah, like, I, for, I forgot my watch, which was the, the odd thing. You, have you ever done that? You, you, you leave your watch at home, and so. Um, it drove you crazy all weekend. It drove me nuts all weekend. I was, you know, I, I was trying to convince Lisa that it was okay for me to buy a watch because said, "Well, Paul's going to have watches. I'm just going to buy one from him." But she didn't think that was funny. Um, yeah. Got we left there about nine ish, maybe. Um, got back know. to the hotel and hit the sack. Um, Sunday is nice because we're already set up. We don't have to worry about anything. Um, get to the show, have breakfast, get to the show. Um, and uh, do it all over again. Uh, what's notable on Sunday? We had a pen stolen. We had a pen stolen. There's three. <laughs> we have bad luck at this show, right? Um, that makes three out of four years. But, uh, yeah, somebody walked out, and, and we were doing really good, um, keeping an eye on stuff. And uh, uh, somebody's enjoying a Aurora Optima fountain yeah. pen. Um, I actually so. called the, the police. I checked with the organizer, and um, he said to go ahead and call 911. So, you know, I didn't want to interrupt the show, but for insurance, we were going to need some kind of documentation. And um, we ended up calling the cops. They came out, and then uh, Hofstra Security came out as well. And, you know, the first comment they make is, really? There's, like, a whole room full of people who are here for... Pens? <laughs> yes. Really, this is yes, what you do for a living? Like, yes. Yes, there is. Well, you know, and the funny thing is, is I was, I would really, you know, we go to this show and we know that, that this has happened and it happens to other dealers. Last year it happened a couple of times. Um, and we had a couple of rather expensive pens that I was keeping a very, very close eye on the entire weekend and they took something else. So, um, but so whoever took it, you suck. Yeah, yeah, you suck. So, um, but you know what? Uh, it's it's in the past. I'm not going to dwell on the negativity. Um, yeah, we had a, we had a, met a lot of great people. Um, a lot of friends came. Um, you yeah, know, it's, overall, it's a good show. It's I, I, a good I show. spent very little. I spent nothing on myself. I will make that known. Um, I bought a couple pens that will show up on the website that people are just mm -hmm. going to die over. Um, what you buy? On Sunday, the oh, contents yeah. of that Schaefer box. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And none yeah. of them are Schaefers. And uh, well, one one was one of the four was a Schaefer, right? So anyway. Um, 
No, so you know the, the show was good. We uh, we had some very very sweet people. Um, actually, we had on Saturday we had two different people bring us coffee, um, which <laughs> which was awesome. Which it was out. heaven. Yeah, everybody is know, so sweet and thoughtful. We have such thoughtful friends. Yeah, and so you know, finished one, and there's another one, and uh, awesome. Um, you know, pastry. Uh, pastries and, and cookies on Sunday I mean it was re really sweet I you know really appreciate uh, um, you know generosity of the folks that uh, are coming to the show and, and of course they, they can't mention a show without saying okay somebody brought a six-pack of beer um, <laughs> <laughs> you know um, of which I, I may have enjoyed one earlier this evening um, <laughs> But you know, it's 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 about the people, and you know, you, you get a large group of people together. There's a couple of rotten eggs. So, um, but we, other than that, we had a, a yeah. good time. Um, got to play with pens and and hang out with friends, and it was good. It was daylight savings time, and we woke up at the correct time. So I mean, that in itself is a win, right? Um, so here we are. Um, drove home, uh, mostly uneventful. Um, Ride home, and uh, it was good. It was good. We're so home. we got home yesterday afternoon, and uh, things at the store are just mostly put away. On. Loosely put away, yeah. And mostly, uh, mostly yeah. And uh, of course, we we had a visit this morning from our uh, our Karen Dosh rep, who also um, supplies us with some of our uh, dip pen holders and some some other cool stuff that's coming in. Yeah, we, we, we shopped hard today. We There's did. It, cool it, it, it's funny because it, we, I, I forgot you told me she was coming, and we're like, oh, okay. So, um, yeah. Car Carpenter Joe showed up today. Um, yes, we're excited about that. That's, that's going to be cool. Um, he's making a little something special for our, our new offices. Um, for your office. It's for our, it's our for board room. Room. Our conference room. Um, so it's good to see Carpenter Joe and um, because we can't do a periscope of the entire office until we have this table for the conference room. Well, we're gonna have to get chairs now. That's yeah, cool. I know. I <laughs> That's a whole so, other issue. But Carpenter Joe's working on the table now, and uh, life is good. So, um, moving on. Cool. Um, let's 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 hit up what's uh, what's on the store. Uh, on the web, um, we mentioned it last week, Sailor Pro Gear Earth. Um, Pre-orders available uh, coming in July. Um, you know, I, I got to tell you, the more I look at this, the more I want one. Well, good, because I placed our order yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, you added to our order for the second time. I did, I actually. did. I, I, I added an order. Uh, you're getting a Pro Gear Slim uh, yes. with a medium fine nib. I am getting a full-size Pro Gear with a broad nib. Uh, which is kind of um, uh, my usual my usual pen. Um, I think it's going to be a really great looking pen. Um, mm -hmm. Reddish brown, uh, maybe a little transparency on the section. We'll see when they come in. I, I think I think maybe sometimes the images are a little purposely a little bit deceptive. Um, well, don't say deceptive. Well, I don't say deceptive. Not 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 in a bad sense. I mean, you know, this it, it piques your interest. Um, I think it's going to be a great looking pen. Um, and you it's know. got a phenomenal nib. It's a sailor. Yeah. What's what's the? You know, what's the not like? It's gold trim on a reddish brown pen. It's going to be phenomenal. Um, we mentioned more Omas. Um, we've got a couple of pieces that we picked up. Um, some of them do have maybe a blemish on them. Um, fully documented. We'll have pictures. You know, like a little mark or a scuff or something. But, uh, you know, you're going to save 180 bucks off of a, you know, <laughs> off a pen. Um, they're nice. There's some nice, nice pieces in there. Paragon, a couple of Malords. Um, if you like yellow, we There's got a yellow. yellow. Yeah. There's a yellow one. Um, Aubergine, maybe, maybe my favorite color. Uh, Aubergine Malord um, that's coming up. Uh, and then three other ones that I'm just not going to talk about much. Although yeah. I keep saying that, I keep talking about it. Yeah. Uh, so coming up this week, um, keep an eye out. 
couple new uh, couple new field notes will be up on the site tomorrow, maybe tonight. We'll see how I feel. Um, Chicago, that's actually been out for a couple weeks, um, and the new uh, what's the other one? The new spring seasonal that just came out, uh, Sweet Treats. I think that's the name of it. Uh, it looks, looks really cool. Uh, yeah. um, perforated pages. Yes, which is a nice feature. I think people are going to like that. I wonder if that's a first for field notes. I don't remember seeing any other edition ones. So that's so, uh, those will be on the site, and they uh, they're in Chicago, so they ship really pretty quickly to us. So we'll either have them tomorrow or we'll have them Thursday, Thursday at the sure. latest, which yeah. is nice. And then the brand new Retro 51 um, seasonal popper, the bouquet, is uh, on the way to us. That is really pretty. You um, know what? My first reaction to the pen is it's a little too, you know, Retro 51 comes out with the, with the new new popper, what, every, every quarter? Every couple every, months, yeah. Every three months or so. You know, and it's like, I just, I don't know where these guys come up with these ideas. They're great. Um, I mean, I would I, I would think they got to run out of ideas. And this is just so. I first looked at it and I thought, you know, it might be okay. You know, it's so hard to guess. You know, the twinkle came out. We said this is a great pen. People are going to want this. You know, and all all three of you that bought it, God bless you. Um, I like the twinkle. <laughs> I know. This this is a pretty one. Uh, this one is pretty. This uh, um, the bouquet is 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 perfect for this time of year. Mother's Day, you know, around the corner in a month. Um, very pretty pen. Very, very tastefully done. Uh, I like it a lot. It's a nice, nice looking pen. So, uh, I've already contacted a couple people once it went up today, and uh, um, yeah, I think it's it's going to go uh, fairly fairly quickly. There are pictures up on the site. It's um, really pretty. It's kind of a ivory with a bunch of different flowers. Um, and it's got the, the brushed gold satin trim. Uh, really pretty. I'm totally keeping one for myself. Yeah. Nice. I have this little retro collection going on now. You do. I'm going to have to give you another tray in the, the chest just for retro. I think so. So, um, so that's what's uh, up on the site coming in this week. And then Brian's got a bunch of stuff, um, videos and blogs and stuff. Yeah, a bunch oh, of stuff on the blog. Wait, wait, wait. Um, one more thing that just came in. We got some of our Faber Castell deep sea green bottled ink. Oh, that's right. Um, you know, we ought to mention we talked about last week we were in air um, about decimals. Oh yes. Um, so um, we mentioned they were going to be shipping, and they're not. Yes, I had gotten confirmation from the general manager that they were in. Um, they had received them into the warehouse, and they were not. Um, and I had said that that meant they would be shipping to us probably in the next couple of days, and they they are not. Um, but I did also receive confirmation that the launch date was supposed to be May first when they'd be available, uh, and that has been moved up, so it's going to be sooner. So uh, these will be out very soon. Uh, they will be shipping to us very very soon. Um, so if you're looking to get one, do the back and stock notice because they will go quickly. Right. I'm going to take one of each. So. Yes, she is, and she's going to make me <laughs> subtract the cost of that Omos Arco Paragon <laughs> until she is. It, it, so we're, we're actually here's here's the thing. We're, we're coming back from we're coming back from uh, Long Island. And she looks at me and she goes, "How much are the Mopoc watches?" <laughs> I would like a new watch, but not that price. Yeah. So anyway, so. Uh, all right. On the on the on the blog, uh, new videos that came up. Uh, I'm going to whip through these. Real, it's been a busy week. Yep. Uh, Sailor Pro Gear Millicalori, really, really a cool pen. Very pretty. Um, Brian wants one. I, I want the blue. I really do want the blue. Um, neat looking pen. Check that out. That's there's no other pen like it. It's very cool. Uh, Pro Gear full size Pro Gear size. Really cool. Twenty one carat nib. Um, Graffon Faber Castell Midnight Blue Ink. A um, little post about that. Uh, Esterbrook Twist Fillers. Um, we have two of them in our possession that are for sale. Very, very rare Esterbrook pens. Um, guaranteed never to work is pretty much how we joke about them. Um, but if you're an Esterbrook collector, these are very affordable, um, I think, from a collector standpoint. Uh, it is unusual to see more than one or two a year, period. Um, 
here's a quick little post on, on two of them. Um, say hello, program Earth. There's a post on that. Uh, and another new addition to my favorite pens. Uh, this time, a very cool pen that uh, Lisa got for me for Christmas a few years back. I did? You did. Look at me. Uh, you did. Good job picking this one out. Um, actually, I just said go over to Joe over there and buy this pen. Um, <laughs> a, uh, that's kind of how it works in this house. Uh, okay. A John Holland saddle filler. If you've never heard of that, you've never seen a saddle filler, um, check it out. This is a really fun pen. This pen is mint. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Very early self-filling pen. It's a unique filling system. Um, love it. It's a great pen. Um, Toucan ink now in bottles. Uh, as opposed to about that, and uh, a little blurb about the Pilot Con 40 converter that is coming next year. Uh, we are the first people in the country to actually have one through proper channels, um, and so there's a little comparison between Con 20, Con 40, Con 50. So. Um, Something to check out on the blog, and there's going to be more cool stuff this week. So, boom. Uh, shout outs? Yeah, we have several. And as always, I know we're going to forget people, and I'm really, really, really sorry. Um, we won't be back to normal until, like, the end of the week mentally, so <laughs> please bear with us. Um, first and foremost, happy, happy anniversary to my parents. 36 years. That's you. Awesome. Uh, and then um, shout out to Dan who brought us coffee both days. He gets he gets a round of applause. And um, sweet man, really pastries, nice. Pastries, absolutely. Pastries on Saturday, and this entire bag of black and white cookies for Brian on Sunday. Um, and and they're they they're all for Brian. They're they're all for Brian. And uh, he was just so excited to see them. So awesome! Thank big, you. Big hug again. Thank you. And uh, Carrie and Lauren brought us coffee. Always good to see you guys. And thank you for the coffee. <laughs> Carrie had had said he was going to bring us coffee, but uh, um, it sounds crazy. But just that little extra caffeine and, and a little bit of sugar really can can make the difference at a show so yeah, thank absolutely. you guys um and and we have so many great friends who do things like that because they know that we can't take the time to run and go and, and get stuff because we've got a setup and our setup is a little complicated so thank you so much um jenny and bill oh my god we had, <laughs> we had such, such a good time <laughs> And um, such a, a great time at dinner, the chat, and um, Jenny and Bill brought Brian beer. Uh, he's already gotten into one, and it's super yummy, so thank you. And uh, the other assorted treats, so um, we're going to have a surprise for you guys next year. It's already so, planned out. Yep, you wait. Um, big hugs to Winnie and Alan. Always good to see you guys, and we got to see Wendy and Tori, and... Um, Tons of other people, and I'm I'm totally blanking on the names. I should have written them down during the during the show, and I'm really sorry. Um, but it's it's fun to be able to see people. We only um, yeah, there are people we only see at a couple of the Eastern Coast shows, and there are only a couple people we see at you know only the um, the West Coast shows. You know, like Paul and Michael and Wayne. Yeah, you know, we don't see them out east, um, so it's kind of fun to. Uh, I won't say gauge where we are by people but that's sort of what we do um yeah. but it, it's just shows are just fun to hang out with everybody i wish we had more time to sit and chat as opposed to just trying to have a, a two-second conversation over the table while waiting on people and it's just not how we wish we could do it yeah so. anyway, that's um it. that's it anything else no i think we've dragged this out longer than we should have we got a little bit of a late start, but that's all right. Um, so I think that's enough for this week. Uh, use your pens. Write to us, Anderson Pens, 10 East, College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. Uh, check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, per Periscope, and all other social media as Anderson Pens. And um, Brian's got something really cool. Did you put that up today? I did not. I'm going to do it tomorrow. 
there is something phenomenally cool coming tomorrow on social media that I should, was, Paris, I should do a Periscope tomorrow. Maybe. You should. Um, that arrived today at the store. Um, we quite talked, unexpectedly. We we'd heard about it. We'd asked for it. Never expected that it would show up at the store. So keep an eye on social media tomorrow because it's really really cool. Awesome. Uh, blog blog .com. And the website andersonpens.com. Thanks for listening to the podcast, and uh, good to see everybody in Long Island. And uh, we will see you next week. Have a good night. Bye.